Hey, look, we're back. And where we last left off, we got into the level three of this game. I'm not sure how many levels this game has. Let's see. Is anything going on in the video game industry before we continue? I already talked to death about the CD Projekt Red thing, the lawsuits, the game problems, whatever, whatever. Um. Oh, here's something. Apparently, the scalping of PS5 is getting so bad, there's now legal legislation being pushed against it. Apparently, scalpers around the world have made around 20 million off scalping the system. Again, I don't care about getting it day one or even anytime soon. So, I'm fine with waiting, personally. God, this is so retro. I love it. Alright, wait, which one was I going like up or down? I truly cannot remember if I was going up or down. Down, because I came from that way. Okay. Now these guys are going to start dropping effectively health for me every once in a while. Okay. Oh, 
this is probably a very time to be getting this video for the people who are normally around here. But, again, I, because of the new job, which I'm effectively starting tomorrow, or today technically, uh oh. Yeah, I'm effectively starting the new job today. I had my orientation yesterday. And it's a night job. So I'll be there from 9.30 to 9 to uh, 6.30. But again, I'm being paid so much, I'm totally okay with it. So yeah, I'll be up I'm uploading right now this very strange time. So I'm saying a job that I can make a career out of just beyond teaching. The main reason I even want this job in the first place is because I want the work to go so I'm not in like a bad place in life, but there are some things I personally take care of. And other people that I personally take care of that I need to keep supporting, so yeah. Having just additional income, that is just always nice. And teaching in America isn't what most people call profitable. Or not, it's not not profitable, but you can't. It's not a life payment. You can live fine being a teacher, even just being like, even just straight out of college. But if you want to do extra things in life, it is not what I would call the ideal career, you know? What are these wheels made out of where they can take sword slashes? Ha! It works! Nice. Oh god. Oh no. Hey, air recovery. I didn't think making him jump out of the world would work, but it worked just fine. Yeah, that's gonna be the second job. Starting tonight, I tried to stay up literally all day just so I'd be able to go to sleep during the day and then be ready for work at night. But I hit around like 4 a.m. I'm like, nah, I'm passing out. I'm dipping out. I'm cowering out super hard. Okay. Oh, almost made it. I was almost the cool guy. Risky. I really wish I had some kind of downward swing angle, some kind of angular swing. Let's go. Got that, and that, and this, and that. Keep my eyes peeled for any secrets as well. I saw one down there, but again, I can't break those kind of walls yet. I'm not even fighting right now. Am I fighting like Odie? I understand that's supposed to be uh, Ninja Gaiden and Castlevania's uh, homage to the Medusa heads and the birds. The fucking birds. In Metal Gear. Uh, not Metal Gear. Metal Gear. In a. Uh, ow. Ow. Those fucking birds in uh, Ninja Gaiden that homed in on you with a goddamn missile. Yo, anyone who played those games knows exactly what I'm talking about. I, I want to try this. I, I think I can do this. So I just space it out properly. Now. Nope. That was a bad one. No! No! Uh, I'm going to try one more time. I don't care if I die. You know, 
though you're not the first adventure I've watched over, others seem to have an easier time with projectiles. Shots. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it because it's the cool thing to do. I don't care if it's practical. Also, I found out that you can actually just uh, wait uh, a minute and he'll just leave. So it's saying, hey, since you weren't good enough to. Since you weren't good enough to do it naturally, if you don't want to lose any rewards, you can just sit here for a minute like a lump on a fucking log. Get good scrub. Not, there we go, thank you. Yes, I'm gonna try that thing again. I know I'm good enough to do it. Okay. Bang, bang, bang. I, I, I panic, I panic, I panic. This is hard mode. Nope. Darn it! No! Oh! Ah, screw it. I'm guessing if there's like a hard version of this game or a hard mode of this game, there really is a thing where you have to go all the way up using just your cloud step jumping. Save room too. Lol. Sup, Metro Man. Can't get any upgrades. Let's chat. Rubble boss. So I guess the boss is up next. Boss in Bamboo Creek. That's a good one. Well, with the layout, you know, perfectly centered gate, symmetrical lanterns, and no scroll like I just thought. Look, you're perfectly free to hallucinate patterns and try to make sense of them. But I believe I told you this place was like your day off. So, well, you would. So, would you fight a boss in your day off? No, exactly. So, is, here's the question, is this game gonna make me fight a boss, or is it gonna troll me and like have a boss appear that he just get instantly killed by something? Ooh, so that's what it looks like, cool. Also, I saw a secret over on that side that I could not get to. Oh wow, there really wasn't a, there wasn't a buzz! Wait, wait a minute! <laughs> I told you man, this is like your day off. Let me just get to go for free. I mean, he did tell me there'd be no boss. Yo, this game's great! Alright, so I get some kind of new ability here. What is it? What's up? I fell into a pit. Yeah, you did? That gap is way too wide, there's no way I can make that jump. This reminds me of a story. A long time ago, Warriors of the Squirrel Clan- Oh, okay, so I'm literally getting a glider ability. Invented a way to soar through the skies. Touching on a freedom humans seldom dream of, but some would have staked them for gods. Incredible. Yeah, whatever. Here's a wing suit. <laughs> Press and hold A while airborne to glide. Deploy over geysers to fly upwards. Need anything? I want to test this. So it's just that I can slowly descend now. I can literally fly. Or I, I get to glide. Let me test it. So if I just try from here and do an empty jump, I can get to it from there. So if I... That's a decent bit of distance. Chats. Wingsuit. 
Thanks for the wingsuit. Bet. Don't forget to try it out by pressing and holding A while air bubble. Why was it free and not the other upgrades? Because it was mandatory to your progression? You can't save the world if you're stuck in a pit. Will there be more freebies in the future? There's only one way to find out, isn't there? What do you mean? I mean, you should carry on with your quest. While letting your heart know for sure that this here cursed world and its inhabitants have a lot of surprises left in store for you. I like this game. Welcome to the Hollow Grotto. Do people live here? Some cave dwelling creatures used to a long time ago. They built structures from the streams of emeralds running through the rocks, and I believe the wind was the breath of the god. Anything I should know? Not really, other than it's gliding time. Well, that wingsuit I gave you? Yeah. Sorry, I don't have enough contextual data. I meant to say something that would make sense regardless of whether you already used the wingsuit to ride the wind tunnels. Being awkward. <laughs> now you're just being awkward. What's wrong with you? I gave you something that virtually lets you fly. Do you rather stay here and chat? Any stories to share? Any stories to share? Of course. Here's one for you. There once was a king who had a pretty rough time managing his emotions. Experiencing nothing but extremes, he would always feel too excited or too depressed, which caused him to never get anything done. Just as he was about to lose all hope getting his life together and, a, and be a viable ruler for his people, he was visited by a traveling relic hunter. To rid the king of his woes, the relic hunter gave him a magic ring, promising it would make him sad when he is happy and happy when he is sad. It worked like a literal charm, and the king became very prosperous as a result. When the king passed away, the castle wizard probably grabbed the ring to finally try and understand the source of his power. As it turned out, the ring wasn't magical at all, but how could a non-magic ring make you sad when you're happy and happy when you're sad? Any guess? Not really. It had a small inscription that read, This too shall pass. Whoa. It's more than deep. I just gave you the cure for anxiety through the, <laughs> through a fairy tale. Thanks, shopkeeper. Hey, now, don't push it. <laughs> Yo, wait. This game, this game, though. Oh, what's that? Press X wall. Oh, cool. Just a winged attack. Oh, there's my downward attack. the best cut downward attack, but it's not terrible. Nice. What are there other abilities to the game give me? Dick. And it lets me slowly feather fall as well. And yes, I can. Interesting. Get out of here. I'm sorry. Okay, then. So I had to do animation cancels there, like turning off and on my thing. Leash. The game's nice enough to just let me get back instead of having to work my way back. Woohoo! I'm a god. I'm a god. And I can store the cloud jump ability if I do this. One more path through that, though, just so I can get you to a feeling again. No secrets on the walls, though. Interesting. Oh, wait. Is, is there anything popular? Just... Oh. 
There was nothing stopping you from just dropping. That was my reward for doing that. Just extra time shards. Alright, bet. I'm not over here vibing. Kinda weak for a rock monster though. Oh god. Woo! Can't go that way. are the least pinky rock monsters I've ever seen. King D, D, D. That's death. You can tell from the slight co difference in coloration. I mean, I'll go back to check, but I'm like 99% sure that's death. Yeah, thought so. I really wasn't expecting you to fall in that pit. That's what I would have said if I had any faith in you. Ow. Far with following me in here? Oh no, there he is. Can't get any upgrades. Okay. But I literally just wanted to test it just for the showcase of the channel. Why'd I? It's for the content, guys. I'm gonna quote uh, po croakies with this one to say it's for the content. What's the underwater theme of this game sound like, or this match sound like? Nice. Okay. 
remind me of those little electrical spiky things from, uh... Oh, you know, these remind me more of Metroid. Yeah, that's more of a Metroid enemy, because you can actually kill these ones. The ones in Mario that do that, you can't kill. Get out of here. You and your fucking fireball. What I just kill? Okay, game. Okay, careful. Gotta remember, I don't get a downward swing when I'm just jumping downwards. It's only when I'm gliding that I get a downward swing. So. Exploring. Give me those time shards. Probably enough for another upgrade or two. Bad. Little boss. Well, I hope you're ready for a challenge. Why? Because something big is up next. What? Well, let's just say you're about to fight someone who understands the best defense is a good defense. Ooh. I wish I could tell you. Anyway, your three questions are up. Carry on. What? Since when there's only third question to roll? Hey, that's four now. <laughs> oh, I love this game. Smarby, just self-aware humor. It's great. And okay, okay, okay. I was I figured pro tip avoid spikes. I didn't figure figure his face would be spiky. Now I know. Now I know. Okay. This boss is a little bit more of a threat than the other ones. And I respect that.
I understand now. I understand the pattern now. Simple pattern recognition. That's what like 99% of bosses in these old school games were. Uh, that's greedy of me. Hey. Well, that's cheating. You can't block one of my ways off. Asshole. Say, are they really just gonna give me the wingsuit and then not give me an option to use it for this boss fight? That'd be kind of weird. Like, thanks for restoring my golem. You tried to murder me. Well, you attacked first. What are you talking about? I've been digging through these caverns for centuries and you just randomly engage. No way! Way! No way! You try to crush me! You know what? Fair enough. I see you could have thought I was threat. I guess my survival interest just kicked in a little too fast. I understand. It's all good. Look, I'm sorry I destroyed your golem, okay? Don't worry about it. I mean, I, I mean it. I'm sorry. It's all right. Honest mistake. So, how do I get out of here? Oh, this is just a win for you. Good luck on your quest. To be fair, can you really blame me? You were kind of, uh, you can leave using the wind tunnel, okay? And I don't, I don't mind your misunderstanding. You, you, it did look like you were trying to crush me, to be fair. Like, I don't think I can take full responsibility for that one. But it didn't look like he was trying to crush me. He could have just said, oh, hey, at the start of this. But no, he was like, I'm going to keep digging even though you're clearly here. And I can see I'm trying to, it looks like I'm trying to kill you. Can I walk in this? Yes. I can also sink and die in it. Okay. Ooh, that pierce effect is pretty good. How far can I sink? If I go all the way under my dead. Yes. Okay. Oh, hi. I'm Quarble's co-worker, Quibble. Apparently, I just had to see the face you make when you fall into a pit. Priceless indeed. Look, I was testing something out. Boomerang. Yes, it does. Not picking up something just to spike the demon to save your life. Or being who saved my life, I guess. You know what? Fine, I just won't get any. Yeah, I know. Okay. You're still here, go away! Darting around the screen, just looking for a secret. 
but that is just how it comes when it comes to these old school games, you know? I'm gonna save first. Thought so. Oh. Phew. Sorry. Can't pierce through objects. But I was right, there is a secret down there. Hey, how's it going? Chats. Carrying area. Welcome to the Quill Shroom Marsh, said no one ever. Yeah, this place is eerie. Tell me about it. I wanted to look through the mud for an artifact. Gave up pretty quick. What happened to this area? Legend says it used to be ruled by a monstrosity known as the Primal Fear until a brave monk defeated it. Both were mighty indeed, but with its final breath, the Primal Field cursed the monk forever. Cursed. Legend also says the monk still roams the marsh this day, turning any trespassers into fungi. Ugh. What a horrible way to go. Don't worry. No one knows whether any of that's true, but yeah, I'd pick up the face by reading. So the Emerald Gold, what gave you defeated the Emerald Gold? Did you get a chance to understand its motives? That's the thing, that thing wasn't evil, it was just digging away. What? You mean all those messengers that were killed? All a misunderstanding. Ow. Hey, stories. Yo, stories. Of course, here's one for you. There's once a messenger who kept asking for stories. Even though he was supposed to move on with his very important quest, he just couldn't get enough. And the shopkeeper living in a void outside of time was connected to all areas, and so at first, was happy to share the myths and legends encounter over decades of travel. Alas, the messenger never seemed to appreciate the morals or takeaways, so the shopkeeper decided to be done with story thing. Wait, no! He ends. Wait! No way, I liked your stories! Come on! Maybe later, we'll see. Wait, no, I legitimately like your stories! Like, sometimes I don't get the morals, but I really do like your stories, man. Come on, don't deny me the stories. Oh. I'm sad now. Get out of here. I did that wrong. Yeah, I can already tell this game has like some kind of new game plus you're gonna do crazy shit like fly into attack and to jump again and to just uh out of here. What the hell is that? That's the bird enemy that's the strip, the bird enemy from a ninja gaiden. That's how they styled it in this game. Yo, that's nuts. It is just a straight-up skeleton bird. Oh, these trees are fungi. Or fungi. It, it, either way, it's creepy as shit. Get here. Get out of here. Am I an asshole? Um, I'm, 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 Things like a person? Because if so, that's creepy as shit. Ow, I should have jumped again. Nope. Huh. <sighs> 87 time shards in. I'm feeling. Uh, some acid reflex. Maybe swallowing them isn't a good idea. I forgot you take three hits for some reason. Nope. Yup. I 
I'm making my way slowly, not as quickly as I like, but I am making my way. Take you up from above. Take you out. So far, the trend seems to be that you get some kind of new upgrade every two levels. So, if I will get one here, but I should get one for the next level, I believe. I didn't even register that Bungie, I didn't even register that that Bungie was there until I dodged it. So that's what it was. I say it like it hit by the next enemy attack. Story, 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 story! No, oh, which is upgrades. Darn it. I'm out of here. Ah! Not safe, not safe at all, not safe, not safe, not safe. That one, uh, my, my thumb was shaking a little bit on that one, I'm not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Nope. Yup. Don't have a downwards attack, I don't have a downwards attack, I just get to swipe downwards. God, I would love just a normal downward swing attack. I would love it so much. Give me my angular attack, please. My brain is still in that uh, katana zero like mindset. It feels so weird not having a double, a downward angle of swing in a game like this. I don't know why. I didn't hurt. He just, he just, just threw his head for no reason. I can't kill these things, I very much. Oh, this is gonna be annoying getting up. Woo! First try. Uh, oh, shit. Actually, I need that guy, don't I? Google Chrome popped up with something that's distracting me. Yeah, that's my excuse. Oh wait, no, there's no way I can do anything up there. So I'm just gonna go forward. Okay. I do wanna try again though. Just see if I I just say I can get up there, you know? Oh wait! Let me use the fireball. Yeah, I, I can't do anything up there, but I can get up to that area I was at right there.
Remember I said this game would start off really easy? It's starting to get a little, it's not too, too bad yet, but it is starting to get a little more intense now. Ow. Freaking big, that's bungee head. Tilt. Tilt. Ignore the garbage truck you can probably hear outside right now, by the way. Oh, come on! Hey! Story, 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 story. Ah, just level boss. Be careful, I sense a phone in the head. Fallen? It's how we call messengers whose quest came at a tragic end. They're power corrupted by demon magic. Why are you so serious all of a sudden? because it doesn't get more serious than a rogue messenger about to unleash on you. And with these stories about a monk, if it really is that one monk, what are you talking about? About you meeting your match. Good luck. That is kind of eerie that he's gotten all serious all of a sudden. And I'm going to save it for that upgrade right there. Alright, let's see what we're fighting here, man. Oh, it's female. Well, well, well. Let's see if we have an intro here. We need to get out of here place is filled with monsters. Oh, did my cool shrooms scare you? Oh, you did? You were turning people into shrooms! Yo! So it's true. I don't like my army. It's a shame, really, since you're about to join it. Wait, that scroll. It couldn't be. No, possible. Kneel before your queen to receive the curse of the quills. Uh... Okay, I can't hit these. Yeah, the fact that these things can potentially heal me is making this a little bit easier. I'm probably also not fighting this thing anywhere near optimally. One, two, I knew you were going to do that. Alright, just, ah. I don't need a time shard right now. Oh! At least, it's not an, at least I know it's not in it to kill, so that's good. You know, I'd really like to That's also pretty good. Wait, is it the game saying... I think the game wants me to propel off them to get my hits in. Aw, oh, damn it! Ah, oh, she stepped on me. I, I started to panic a little bit. Why do I feel like you meant to do that? Oh, shut up. Alright, alright, round two, round two. Oh, I can bait her down here by turning into a shroom. Yeah. Yeah, turning into a shroom just instantly gets you down here. Why do I not? Sure, I only get one hit, but still. Ah, 
didn't even get a hit there. What do you do if you get all the way over here, by the way? Oh, it's just a quick one. Two. Harder and harder each time to get out, so maybe I should stop trying that method. Ugh, God. Got that. Oish. Nine deaths prevented. Quarble MVP. I mean, I guess. There's not a lot of area to hit her. And the fact that she kind of gets animation canceled, or not animation canceled, but she can instantly turn around after doing her triple, when doing her swipes makes it all the harder. So it's here. Oh, that's what I'm supposed to do. Okay. Ow. Okay. And now I know. Ow. Oh, she's running to the higher ones. Uh, can I? Well, that's not even fair. So this one's gonna be short. So it's here, here. Ah! I gotta be really precise with my jump there. Wants me to. Okay, I understand now. It wants me to do the downwards attack there. Come on, die. No. No. Die, please. Ugh, how much life do you have left? one more swipe. Oh, shit! Now, wait a second. Who do you think you are? I'm Quibbly. Quibbly? That makes me, that name makes most sense. Why have I never seen you before? I was exiled a long time ago. Now I got cursed along with my messenger. That voice, are you? Out of here, you bet. See ya, sucker. I'm gonna have to fight her again. I wonder how that cutscene plays out if I haven't met Quarble uh, yet. I because I know it does change, but I just don't know how yet. All right, well that was interesting. More crags. What are the in this game looks like? I'm gonna get see every two levels new ability. So what's this one gonna be? Congratulations, you made it to the base of the mountain. Almost there. Do you know how you know what that means? I don't know. Does it mean that you have another dialogue trap for me? What? Oh, so you're just going to try and stuff my character like that? <laughs> I guess you think you deserve a prize. No? Well you do. Plus, you'll never be able to make the climb without the rope dart. The rope dart? Don't overthink it. Everyone will probably end up calling it the graphic book anyways. Yes? They see? See? Developers know. Developers fucking know. Anyway, here. You got the rope dart. Press B to throw. Try on rings, lanterns, walls, and enemies. Anything? Yes. Monk. About that monk. It is as I feared. Our most promising messenger did not die. She was instead first forever. She became the queen of the world. How did that happen? This is a tale of another time. Okay. Rope dart. So, thanks for the rope dart? Oh, you did that. Uh, did you think this was just an awkward interaction? You could say that. Lily, you've never had to tell your boss that your little experiment went wrong for Lily patching one of your colleagues. <laughs> hey, I heard that. Anyway, you can use it on rings, lanterns, walls, and enemies. Go nuts! Any stories to share? Of course, here's one for you. A story I once told the guy who hooked me up with music for my shop. There was once a village struggling to figure out who the werewolf was. People kept dying every full moon and every and very gorily at that. 
One day, a brave young couple decided to venture into the woods. He would be the hunter and she the bait. As one would expect from such a cliché se uh, setting, they were separated and are hunted faced off the world against a beast near them. After 15 minutes of a literal uphill battle, the hunter managed to chop off the warrior's paw with his back, just as he was about to choke him, attempted to choke him. The hunter then ran for his life, severed paw not clutching to his throat. By the time he got home, the sun was up and he found his fiance bleeding, also badly wounded. The paw on his throat had reverted to a human form, and that moment he noticed he was wearing a ring he had purchased a few days ago. The end. Whoa, that's spooky. I'm still looking for a title. Any suggestions? What about the werewolf bride? Wow, great idea. Really? No, no, not really. You put the reveal in the title. That is a nice little tale, actually. Let me check out this rope dart real fast. How does it work? It is literally just a grappling hook. Oh, okay. Interesting. And I can grapple over spikes by grappling onto things. And I get jumps off of it. Ooh, I get a grapple of attack. That actually pushes me back to safety. Neat. Yeah, that's dope. Alright. So, we met another messenger. Another demon protecting their messenger. And I think for right now, it's pretty good place to stop. I'm gonna get a little more rest, try to get a little more rest before going to work, but I want everyone out there to have a good morning, evening, day, or night, wherever you're at. But right now, I'm out. Later.